Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. And today I want to compare the Chanel Rectangular Mini with the small Chanel Timeless Classic or the Classic Flat. This might be helpful to you if you don't own any Chanel bags or if you want to start out your collection. I know when I was first ever wanting to buy a Chanel bag, the first thing I wanted was a backpack, which is pretty bizarre, but I always wanted a Chanel backpack. And the second thing I super wanted was a Chanel mini because I just thought that was so adorable. And the double flap Chanel bag didn't even cross my mind as a bag I would ever buy. And I guess as years went by and I got a little bit more into Chanel, I started adding the double flap bags. But I want to show you guys the difference today between like the single flap minis and the double flap. If you just want to get one Chanel bag, should you go for just the rectangular mini or should you go for a double flap small? Because I still feel like the small is very cute proportions, but there's obviously a lot more to it in terms of design and the price is a lot more. So what's worth it to you? And also guys, I was gifted a little bag from Sinbono. I just want to show it to you guys. This is not a sponsored video. But oh my gosh, guys, before I start my video, I, I just went downstairs and I got a package from Sinbono. It reached out to me and gifted me this gorgeous little bag. Now I could choose between a few colors and styles, but I thought this one in particular is absolutely gorgeous because I love this little scrunchy handle. It very much reminded me of Dale's Addictions bag. I think she has a cappy scenes with a very similar handle which I absolutely love the one she chose but I think this is kind of doing that trend um, in a really affordable way and the good thing about Sinbono bags is that they're vegan and cruelty free and they're also quite affordable so the thing I liked about this one in particular is the shape is really cute as a shoulder bag. I think I could rock it definitely in the summer or winter. And because it's quite an affordable piece, I got it in a white color because usually I steer away from white colors when it comes to designer bags because, you know, color transfer and that. But I think since it's a shoulder bag, it won't rub on my jeans or anything. And this little design, it's so cute. It has a magnetic opening and a really soft interior as well. And it's quite a sturdy bag. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got this very soft interior and a really kind of almost like a puffy feel. It almost reminds me a little bit of the Bottega pouch, but um, just a little bit more structured on the base. So it kind of holds its shape in a nicer way. It almost looks a little bit more expensive. And I just thought the design was really cute and quirky. When you order a Sinbono bag, they give it to you in this really fancy little box, which I'm gonna keep because I think this would be so cute just as like decor in my room. And a really nice Nice dust bag as well really beautiful so the quality is amazing for the price and yeah i will link sim sin bono below i believe they were also featured in vogue which is, which is really cool and check out the instagram because you can probably get inspiration on styling ideas i was actually actually tossing up between this color and the purple color because i've always wanted like a purple bag but i decided to get the more neutral color because i don't have as many neutral colors in my collection but uh, my second choice would have been the purple but this is the bag and it looks really cute as like a little shoulder bag. So really cute. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my slippers, but my, my jeans are from Uniqlo and my top is a Gucci. So I really think this looks really nice. Just a really nice neutral color. And oh my gosh, I really like it. <laughs> It could be good just to going out to the movies or even heading out to the shops. I feel like it would fit quite a lot as well. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Thanks, Sonobo. Like, oh. Oh, so it's 11 o'clock. It's in the morning still, guys. I have to upload this video soon, but oh my god, gorgeous bag. Do you have a little discount code? for Sinbono if you guys want to pick something up uh 25% off a Jessie style so check out my description bar below as I said this is not a sponsored video I was gifted this bag and I just thought it was really cute as I said one of my first Chanel flap bags was my rectangular mini in caviar and if you want to get a mini these days currently in Chanel, you can only get the lambskin. However, there is a lot more kind of seasonal bags coming out, like the 
the perfect fit bag or the my perfect fit which is really really cute and that one's in like a square shape with the caviar leather the difference with that one is it's a like a fabric interior and the strap is a lot different as well but anyway there are an array of options you could go for for your first chanel bag you don't have to go for a classic flap you can get a seasonal flap which sometimes they're a little bit more versatile like this punditary bag is a seasonal bag and it has a similar look to a classic bag but <clears throat> just a few more features to it that the classics don't have i'll show you guys what fits inside and then compare it to my small classic flap and maybe also show you guys some little mod shots so the inside is all leather and this one in particular is in the champagne gold hardware and it is quite this leather is quite hard because um the season this caviar was in it's not very soft and it's got a very hard base to it now i can fit in uh some card holders in here it would definitely fit your phone as well but just to show you what fits in terms of SLGs, you've got your card holder there as well. A Chanel hand cream might even fit in there. And you could probably pop some sunglasses on the top there. And the sunnies won't really fit in there. But if you take the sunnies out, you can fit in two key clays, a card holder and the Chanel little egg will fit quite comfortably in there. Classic double flaps aren't designed to be worn crossbody, they're more shoulder bags, so if crossbody is really important to you, the only Chanel bag you literally might need is the rectangular mini, because honestly I don't feel like the small classic flap fits that much more, and if you want like a very petite looking Chanel bag, sometimes the minis are the way to go. So on me, it falls like this like up to here uh, with these bags so you can adjust them from the inside so i usually get the inside and i'll tie a ribbon between there and there to make it higher so you can wear it you know an array of ways you, sometimes i wear it up here like a bum bag you can even wear it as a little shoulder bag if you shorten the chain some people i've even seen bring the chain from the inside so they'll kind of do something like this and then they'll loop it around and then have it so it's like this but I don't necessarily think that looks that good like that I mean you can do it but it will kind of it might affect the sides but you can kind of double the chain like that as well if you like but I often just adjust it from the inside because it kind of looks a little bit more normal if you do that and it's not, not as obvious that you've kind of done something to it so that's the rectangular mini in the caviar the small classic flap i do have two colors i've got the caviar in the yellow so i might show you guys it in the caviar because it's probably a better comparison because they're both caviar bags sometimes lambskin it's a little bit softer uh you might be able to fit slightly more in a lambskin bag because it's a bit more malleable um so uh, this one this is from 20s this color in particular and it's got champagne gold hardware now with the small classic flap you've got the four grommets instead of the two so on the mini you've got two grommets like that but this one has four so the good thing about having four grommets is that you can wear it like a little shoulder bag and you've got kind of that look of the double chains which actually looks really cute um you know from a front woods view sometimes i don't necessarily think a crossbody bag looks good with my outfit and i just want like a little shoulder bag and i think the classic flap is really good if you actually prefer more shoulder bags which a lot of people do i know crossbody bags they can be more convenient also pretty trendy but shoulder bags, they can look look a little bit more uh, dressy, a bit more ladylike and elegant as well. And sometimes I actually find the shoulder bag to be more comfortable than a crossbody on me. I actually find that quite nice just having it like that. And if you like shoulder bags, then maybe go for the double flap because the four grommets are really, really handy. So guys, as a crossbody, 
sits like not at a bad length on me i think in the summertime if i'm just wearing like a t-shirt that's actually kind of cute but it's not like the typical crossbody length i think most people prefer a little bit more length to it and if you do want a double flap with a bit more length your only other option would have to be the a reissue bag now i have seen chanel in the past do double flap seasonal bags which have longer chains and they they sometimes do that but typically you'll only find like the classic looking cc turnlock flap bag um with the shorter chains and the reissue or the 2.55 will be longer so this is a 2.55 bag and if you like the aged calf skin which is very durable as well and um just the classic chanel look you might prefer this if you really want the double flap and the four grommets that being said you can get the single flap mini reissue which is got the four grommets as well which is why i love the mini reissue because it has the cute proportions of a mini chanel bag but it's got the four grommets and for me that is like quite an important factor i do like it having four grommets and they did i think back in 2011 used to do four grommet minis but they lately have only been doing the the one the two grommets i have the medium here as well this one fits i would say an extra card holder and maybe an extra moisturizer and maybe just a few extra little things that the small doesn't but i'm just basically i'll just compare the, the small and the rectangle today it might be a bit easier so yeah the small i can put in two key clays I'll pop in my card holder as well, just a flat one. I'll try my hand cream on the side there. And you can see there's still a bit of room on the top. So I think I'm going to pop in my sunnies. And yeah, unlike the rectangular mini, it can fit my sunnies quite well. So yeah, they're just different looks. It depends what you prefer. Uh, back when I was starting out buying Chanel bags, I didn't even consider the double flap because the price point is just a lot more. It's several thousand dollars more. But, you know, if I had to do it again, I might even start off with like a black caviar small double flap with gold hardware because with the classic flaps with like the beige clear and the black you can get them in the really really gold hardware whereas with the seasonal minis so like the black they tend to only come in silver or champagne gold so if you like that really gold gold color you might want to go for the beige clear or the black double flap classic and yeah i do love the rectangular mini but there's also a part of me that wants to get the small classic double flap with the black caviar gold hardware. But I haven't because I just feel like they're so similar. But I personally actually prefer probably the double flap because I love the four grommets. And I just, I don't know, I tend to wear the double flaps more than the minis these days because I like to wear them as shoulder bags. And I just like how they fit that little bit more but the minis are really good for like evenings for like um parties and that sort of thing they can look cute crossbody and i think they're more appropriate for events but for day to day um i actually find that the the double flaps are really versatile and the thing also you can kind of dress the double flap up and wear it like a clutch and the way you can do that is if you bring this through the chain and you just tuck it under the, the flap like this and close it. You can actually make it into a little clutch and it will just stay like that, which I think could dress up the bag somewhat and I, and I quite like that. So yeah, when I was starting out buying Chanel, I think the minis were definitely the trending bag and they are still super popular. But I just find that the features on the double flaps, you can kind of wear them in more ways. Whereas you have to get a little bit more creative with the, the rectangular mini. You have to tie a ribbon inside uh, to wear it different ways. But it's really a personal opinion. I think the minis do look cuter, but um, I actually kind of slightly prefer the double flaps, even though they're a lot more expensive so yeah anyway guys i hope you found that a little bit helpful and let me know if you want me to do more chanel bag comparison videos i thought i'd just compare like the rectangle and the small double flap today so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye